Welcome to Masking Data Against Shoulder Surfing. Hey, I'm Eric. And um, one of the new th pieces of in AL we got with BC27 is the ability to mask a field so you only see like asterisks or dots. Um, kind of exactly like we have already, but with a twist. And let's let's uh, let's take a look at the the twist. Um, so first, we probably need to add a field to a screen we can play around with. Um, add after name, and I'm just gonna add, let's say name two, which is already on the screen, but we can call the field YouTube instead. We add an application area, and then we will do as we have done for the last 10 whatever versions. Add an extended data type and say, this is a masked field. I hit a five. Let's publish this. Um, and we have a, a, a name two field here now. So if I type in this, get the dots, all is good. Uh, and I can never see the value. If I open up the um, the thing here, we will see that name two is also asterisked in paste inspection. So this is great. This is great for something that I'm never supposed to see. This is great for, you know, passwords or uh, registration, API keys, or anything uh, of a sensitive nature. But what if something is perhaps sensitive, but you also, sometimes you need to see the value. So there's no way we can see the value here other than we could, you know, we could go in and then we could like add in a trigger on assist edit. And then we could go message um, uh, rec.name2, right? So we could do something like this. where we reveal it. That was what I typed, hello, and then I just kind of got lazy. Um, so, that, that, and that's not very elegant, right? Um, so, Microsoft has come up with something new. So let's get rid of this guy. And for probably some very specific uh reason it's not part of the extended data type field so we have a mask type field now and with mask type we have concealed or none so i guess none is as if it's not there so let's see what concealed actually does for us i hit a five we publish again and now we can see two differences Difference one is that the number of dots here is clearly different than the number of dots that were shown. And we have the uh, the the I with a, a slash across. So if I'm sure that nobody's looking over my shoulder, I can hit this and I can see the value. So let's say you have, um, let's say you have uh, social security uh, numbers uh, or something like that that you the users in some cases will have to see in other cases not so it's more like okay now i want to see this i don't think this is built with a timeout so i think this will just stay on screen uh this for forever uh, that could actually be a a a great improvement if we we had an option here uh, auto hide after 30 seconds or 10 seconds something an option but if I click it again it goes away um, if I edit the field here and no I don't want to use my password that's interesting that it actually suggests my, my password huh huh um 
So now I type something. Clearly <laughs> I cannot <laughs> type blindly here. Now I type some. Um, so yeah, so if you have sensitive information and uh, you want to give your your users a chance to uh, no keep it uh, just that extra layer of of security is the wrong word here. This is has this has nothing to do with with security from at least not from a computer science perspective. Actually, one one thing we need to check. Let's just go back here. Thing one thing we need to check is what's here. Uh, and oh, so you can see that page inspection will still show the value as a difference to how uh, the extended data sub worked. So something to uh, to keep in mind also. So this is more about physical. Uh, uh, assurance that hey somebody's not shoulder surfing you and uh, and seeing some data that they, they should not see especially if you have let's say that that you have a a i'm not going to say point of sale but a point of sale ish scenario where a somebody is operating business central in a semi-public fashion and there are still some data that's sensitive that you want to keep uh Actually, I want to do one more thing. Now that I'm thinking about it, I want to do one more thing. Sorry, maybe we can into bonus uh, scenario here. But what I'm interested in, and and this is what I suddenly saw. Now here's a here's a flow field. So maybe you know, if you are in the the semi public, maybe you don't want to show all flow fields. So can we modify like total sales fiscal year? Uh, for instance, can we or oh, the balance? The balance is probably easier. Let's uh, let's can we add a mask type to the balance? This is concealed, so we go and then we do somewhere. Oh, that's great typing. We do modify balance. We got balance LC balance LCY and balance LCY as vendor. Oh, that's a new. So let's do with balance. Let's do balance as vendor. The stuff I have never heard about. Uh, and we do uh, mask type equal concealed. How does that look? Oh no. And I care about applying changes from the object type page to, 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 to the uh, application object type page with the item. Failing delta type content charge change delta target kind content target ID balance as vendor target type control definition problems you made mask type. The error was. Invalid operation exception. Metadata metadata delta application failed due to the following errors. Modifications to proxy mask types are not allowed. The original extension has been restored. So uh, I guess we cannot add that. That's we okay, hear me out, Microsoft. <laughs> Shouldn't you be able to at least? add a conceal to something that is not concealed i i can totally see that we don't want to do do this let's say this was concealed and then we want to take it off reducing the uh, the the concealment level but what am i what am i breaking by doing this i think this because now otherwise i have to hide this field and then add my own version that is concealed but i could totally see in a in a, in a shoulder surfing uh, scenario that there there might be 
be numbers that you don't want to show on screen unless you decide to show that the user decides to see them anyway sorry that was a detour um that has never happened on this channel before so uh, congratulations that was the first ever detour check this one out that's another good one and there are no detours in this i promise this uh, straight to the point no jokes anything as dry as it can get check out this one i'll see you there take care bye